I have heard that big deals in Sacramento don't get done until the temperatures reach, reach triple digits. In Fresno, we have had 14 consecutive days of over 100 degrees, and we have a chance of breaking the all-time record for Fresno for consecutive trip days in triple digits. I contend that our vote here today and the heat that we are experiencing are related. As a scientist and a physician, I have seen this effect on my community, and I support this cap-and-trade package because it is a good compromise. I represent a district where half the census tracts are within the worst 5% economic and environmental metrics for our state. I was raised and I'm raising my daughters in one of the top 25 worst zip codes per the Cal Enviro screen. My daughters wheeze some nights because of the quality of our air and there are parts of my district where people are not able to turn their faucets on and expect to drink clean water. I stand you, stand before you today because this vote will help us all to breathe a little easier. We all have a basic human right to clean air and to clean water. I want to thank you, Mr. Speaker, personally for being a tireless advocate for environmental justice. I want to thank the authors of this bill for fighting for disadvantaged communities, communities like mine. You know, we suffer from the worst air quality and the lack of access to clean drinking water. And I want to thank the authors for fighting for our communities. You know, it is also a great privilege to stand before you today to represent rural Fresno County. Too often, the voices of our small farm-working towns fall on deaf ears. I rise up today as a loud and proud Valley advocate, fighting to bring needed resources to support my constituents, all of my constituents, even the ones who didn't vote to send me here today. We want to be heard that our way of life, our lifeblood, which helps to create the safest and most reliable food source on the planet, that it is important and vital for the future of our state. While we embark on becoming a climate champion for the world, let's not forget the support of the people and the businesses that allowed us to become their voices. I am empowered today by my communities to be their champion for a cause, to be a voice from the Valley, and I rise up fighting to have California be a world leader, and for this body to stand united behind our leadership and our governor to support this legislation. And I'm glad to see so many of our manufacturers our growers, our businesses supporting this legislation that will help our communities be healthier. I'm honored to serve with each and every one of you and will do my part to help my community to be, and my state, to be a healthier place to raise my family and yours. I urge and I vote here today.